Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about partial derivatives, and I'm going to give the general definition of partial derivatives, uh, which which makes sense for in like all the special cases. So, so let f be a function of so f is a function of of more than one variable, and one of the inputs is x, and other variables so f is a function of x and other variables and and the goal will be to explain what the partial derivative f is now we're going to start with the version of the partial derivative which is at a point so let's let's say we have a point in the domain so we have a point in the domain of f and now to specify a point in the domain of f that's just a point on which you can evaluate f it's an actual you have actual numerical values of x and the other variables so in port light means you specify a value of x so let's say x equals x naught and other variables also fixed So you have a point in the domain of f when the x value is given and but also the other values are also specified. Okay, so maybe if it's a function of x, y, and z, then x is specified as x naught, which could be some number 5, y is specified as 12, and z is specified as 20. But you basically you specified values for each of the inputs. Then given this, you can define the partial derivative of f with respect to x. At this point, whatever the point is, and, and remember that the, the to describe the partial derivative, you need to know the point. You need to know not just the value of x; you need to know the values of the other variables. And this is basically the the derivative of f with respect to x at x equals x naught holding other variables constant Okay. What this means is that the derivative at x, you are specifying, you are taking the derivative of f with respect to just of x, f as a function of x, and then you evaluate x equals x naught. But the other variables are constant, and what values do you fix for this for this constant? Well, the same as the values at this point. So this is the overall definition of the partial derivative at a point. Now, if I ask you, what's the general definition of the partial derivative? So df dx. This is just sort of the function which sends each point. It's just the function which sends each point to df dx at the point. Okay, so I'm just so this so, so this is a function which which at every point it just sends it to the value of the derivative at the point, and the value there at the point you calculate like this. So this so this df dx is a function of all the variables, not just x, but even the other variables which which uh, which are held constant while calculate the derivative, and and the and the function sends this point to to the derivative. Okay, so. 
Great. So, so in, in future videos, we'll be talking about how to calculate the partial derivative, what it means, a function of two variables, function of three variables, how you interpret numbers of a difference quotient, how you calculate it in practice, etc.